I have a new watch. Welcome back everyone to another episode and today we are going to talk about my Baltic MR01 with the salmon dial that you just saw in the intro. This Baltic piece has been catching my interest for quite some time and ever since I had the interview with one of their founders, Etienne, I actually was very very interested in getting one of their pieces. I've seen a lot of these Baltic watches over on Instagram and on YouTube and some of them I've actually seen on hands with some of my collector friends, but I've never actually purchased one. I didn't pull the trigger. When the first round of this watch opened, I hesitated. I didn't go for it because, well, honestly, I wasn't sure if I wanted to spend money on a watch that I wouldn't wear. But then when the second round came up, I've seen more pictures, I've read more reviews on the piece, and I actually said to myself, let's give it a try. Let's try this watch out. It has been getting tons of wrist time, much more than all of my other pieces. And it is very, very simple to say why. The watch has been getting so much wrist time because it, in my opinion, it's the perfect representation of the current zeitgeist. It might not have 100 meters of water resistance, but I bet Baltic could do a dress watch with 100 meter of water resistance. But it's the perfect size with 36 millimeters in case diameter and a 44 millimeter lug to lug for my 16.5 centimeter wrist in circumference. In addition to that, the watch has a thickness of 9.9 .9 millimeters. So we have a steel watch with a 36 millimeter case and a thinness of just under 10 millimeters. What's not to like about this? And then we add this beautifully finished dial onto it with Breguet numerals, a small second sub dial, and then we have a complete piece. And all of this is not with a quartz movement. It is also not with a Swiss movement, but it is with a micro rotor movement made in China. That on top is finished as well. And all of this you can get for 654 euros. In my opinion, a great package overall. You might not get a super luxury brand. However, you will get a very easy to use watch that looks fantastic. If you're into vintage looking watches, then this is the perfect watch for you. But on top of that, you have a steel case that is super robust. You have great finishing for the price. My favorite part of the watch is 20 millimeter lugs, yes. I can wear a lot of my watch straps that I have in my collection and this is just amazing. And I have tried a couple of watch straps out with this piece and let me tell you, it is a very, very, very flexible watch. Even though we're in a formal vibe style, you can still wear this watch casually on an everyday basis without having to worry about how it looks and how it fits to your outfit because it obviously will fit perfectly to a tons of outfits. So you don't have to worry about that. You can wear it to the office. You can wear it casually to, I don't know, going to the supermarket if you want. I'm wearing it to a super casual sweater and it looks awesome. Two styles to show you here. I put it on a black suede watch strap made from Hirsch called Osiris. You will have the links down below. And this is super nice. It pairs well with the salmon dial. It looks awesome and it's a perfect vibe for the fall season. You have black and the salmon bronze look on the dial, which is a no brainer if you ask me. And then I've tried a second style because I just wanted to see how a different style would work with this watch. And so I put it on a brown vintage leather strap called Bagnore. You will have the links down below as well. And I wanted to see if this watch can handle this more, it's not really sporty, but more sporty style. And it does handle it very well. The only thing I haven't tried yet is trying different colors with this dial, but let me tell you, blue will look very nice. Other different kinds of colors, well, we'll have to see about the other colors in the future. Maybe I'll do a styling some at some point. Today, 
I'm wearing it on an alligator strap. What I want to tell you here is this watch is very, very flexible when it comes to wearing. It has been the watch that I picked up the most in the last couple of weeks. Why has it been that way? It's been that way because it's such a simple watch. It's not a watch that I have to worry about potentially scratching it or doing something else with it. Even if I lose it or it gets stolen, it doesn't actually matter. It's an easy to use watch and an easy, well, it's easy to wear as well. In my opinion, it's honestly one of the best watches you can find right now under a thousand euros. That being said, that's all for this video. And let me know what you think about this watch. Put your comments down below and let's talk about it. Let's talk about this piece. It is also available with a silver dial, which I think is slightly more flexible when it comes to styling and wearing it with different kinds of outfits. And it, there is also a blue dial version. So that's it for today. As always, if you feel like it, put a thumbs up and um, I still have to mention one more thing. Please do subscribe if you like these kinds of videos. Thank you very much. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.